Yo, this is Rick Mahorn, the bad boy, giving a shout out to my man Drew, Detroit Drew. Make sure you tune in on his YouTube channel, Detroit Drew, bad boy. What's good, peeps? And you guys are starting to see the hype for yourself, rather on social media or even here on YouTube, as several other people have talked about Diallo. But people are really starting to love this guy, man, as a player, man. Um, <laughs> my whole take is technically this is really his first real game. You know, against the Brooklyn Nets, you know, he was coming off of an injury, and then the next night he didn't play. So this was his first real opportunity, and he thrived in this game scored a bunch of points but the thing that stands out the most is he was a leader out there see i think he's gonna love this team. you've seen me post a community post about him saying he's in michigan for a long time looking at real estate i think he's gonna love it here he fits detroit basketball he's a fantastic defender he's very athletic he can hang in the air for a very long time We've seen that on a couple of rebounds he got going up for layups and stuff. He's able to out jump guys for rebounds. That's something that goes unnoticed. But me being Mr. Fundamental, call me Tim Duncan. I appreciate players outside of centers and stuff who rebound. That's why I like Killian Hayes so much is he's a good rebounder. Uh, Diallo brought that to the table last night. But one of the things that we need to talk about was defense. Again, we're in Detroit or the Pistons were built off of defense. He was helping guys who have been here the entire season communicating on defense and telling them where they needed to be. And you can see that translate in the win last night. This is probably going to hurt our tanking <laughs> because we put it on the Raptors. We swept the Raptors. I'm cool with that. I don't like the Raptors. I don't have anything against them, but their fans are really cocky. And I'm always really disappointed when we go to LCA and play Toronto and half the arena, if not 75% of the arena is Toronto fans. So it's kind of annoying, but again, they're a couple miles away, man. All I got to do is take the tunnel and come on over and they're going to watch. So we have to do better on our end of doing that, but whatever. But he, like I said, he was telling people where they needed to be. He was communicating, switch here, switch there. I got ball. He was doing all kinds of things. And that's something that as a team, defensively to be great, you need is communication. And that's going to be one of his roles going forward in the next couple of years is he needs to be a leader defensively. He's only been in the league for a handful of years. He's still young, but that's something he's gravitated towards already here in Detroit. And we have a lot of young guys, Josh Jackson, Isaiah Stewart, Killian Hayes. Throw, throw Jeremy Grant in there. He's still in his 20s. All those guys are great individual defenders. Now having a guy come in and help them become better as a team is going to be huge moving forward. Plus, whatever happens in the draft, hopefully one of these guys we draft when we play defense is going to be involved in that uh, team chemistry defensively. Because let's be honest, man. We're not a great offensive team. We're going to have to be so much better defensively that we have to shut people down. And it's hard to do in this league today because of the three-point shot, how some of these guys can just make ridiculous three-pointers. But I don't care, man. I want the guys like Diallo who come in are going to attack the rim and are going to challenge you defensively. That's Detroit basketball. It's in the name, bro. It's in the name. We put the D in defense. So I like what I've seen from Diallo, man. He's going to have a lot of opportunity to be, to give himself a name, to do something with his career. Not that OKC didn't do that, but now in Detroit, he's going to play the two. I, I would say the shooting guard's probably one of our weakest positions. You know, Wang Ellington's nice, but he's not a part of the future. Josh Jackson's really inconsistent offensively. You know, he takes a lot of dumb shots, but hey, man, some of the stuff Josh Jackson can do and make is jaw dropping. He just needs to find the way to be more consistent. That's part of development is figuring everything out. I really like the future with Diallo and Josh Jackson at the two. One starting, one coming off the bench. You get two athletic guys who are going to come in there and play defense and aren't going to back down from anything. We already seen it against Brooklyn when Beef Stew got ejected for Abilene Blake. A couple plays later when Diallo checked in, he pushed Blake. 
this is going to be one of like he's going to be a leader on his team. I'm not going to say it's going to be his team because probably whoever we draft next year, that's going to be their team. Um, he is going to be one of the enforcers, and I love it. You need multiple of them, but he's not going to be a guy who's going to be intimidated by you, no matter if you're James Harden, no matter if you're Bradley Beal or Kyle Lowry. I'm not saying he went at Kyle Lowry, but that's who we played last night. He doesn't care who you are. He's going to worry about him and his team and do whatever it takes to get the win, and I appreciate that. So hopefully Dwayne Casey, Troy Weaver can do whatever it takes to help this guy reach his full potential because his potential is very, very bright. And to only give up Svima High Luke in a 2027 or whatever the hell that was, second-round draft pick, absolute steal. I wish my High Luke the best. I'm pulling for him still. I have nothing against him, but Diallo is way better, and I'm happy we got him. But let me know what you guys think about uh, Diallo, man, and especially defensively and what he brings to the team and his future. Leave all that down below in the comments. Instagram, Twitter, DSA members, and all that good stuff in the description. Check it all out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And that's the bottom line, because Double D said so. Peace.